Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back down to the workshop. Hope you're well and having a nice day. So this video is not the one I was planning on doing. I was planning on finishing the painting up on the axe. Uh, as you can see, I've done the, the shaft, but I have still not got the silver to do the head. So I was gonna do, I'm gonna do the painting video for that eventually. But uh, I was also working on another project through the week and somebody came into my tree, uh, stream and asked me if I could do a video on scabbards because I am actually making a scabbard for the Master Sword from Zelda. So this is where we're getting up to so far uh, and I will show you the basic principles I use to create this scabbard. So this is the basic build all done. Uh, the only thing is I haven't included any of the detail or anything because obviously I haven't got it done. But once you've got the shape and you've got the tip, that's basically the, your scabbard done. The rest is just decoration. So that's what this video is going to be. So I hope it helps and I hope you enjoy. Um, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe and bell button. You'll be alerted whenever I go live with new stuff. If you've got any questions or anything and uh, you want me to help out, put a comment below. Uh, there's also in the description all my social media links and such so you can see uh, things I've done before, previous works. And if you want to help me or the channel grow, there's also the Patreon there. Okay, guys, so let's jump straight into it. So our first step is to cover the sword in paper. We're going to wrap several coats of paper around it, just a few sheets, and then cover it in cling film. What this does, it gives you a couple of mil barrier between the sword blade and the actual scabbard. Because once we've latexed it, it will shrink up to about 20%. So we're just putting a little bit of extra width on the blade, ready for the latex to shrink. Once the blade's been wrapped, then we can start thinking about foam. Here I'm using five mil foam, and all I've done is literally, I'm just trying to mark out how much I'm gonna use so I don't waste too much. Make sure you give yourself enough to work with with a little bit extra so you can play around with it when needed. Once our shape's cut out that we need in foam, we also need to line the inside. I use felt. This will prevent wear on the actual latex or the covering of the blade. Uh, if we just used foam, it's going to rub, it's going to eventually wear down. So we're trying to minimise that with using black felt or any felt on the inside. Once we've got our exact match that we need, we're going to start gluing it up. Now try not to put this on too thick as it will soak through the fabric and we don't want that because it will glue to the weapon inside. Don't forget, you've still got to glue the side of the foam that the inside is going to be, so you can attach the felt. Once both sides are glued, just place it down nice and smooth. You're trying not to get any wrinkles in it, as that will also rub against the blade inside. Make sure you trim up any edges or this will be a problem when you're trying to smooth it all out later on.
Once both the felt and the foam are glued together, we're going to start gluing one side. On the outside of the foam, just do a small 10mm or so section that you're going to glue up. This other side is going to be our outer side, but we're going to glue up a 10mm section on the inside, on the actual felt itself. This will then lap over the other piece and give us our seam. Once we've glued up, make sure you use the right sides the first one goes down with the glue on the outside, actually on the foam. The other side is the glue on the felt, that's going to be on the top, which will give us a closed seam. When you're closing up this seam, don't pull it too tight. You still need a little bit of give, this will prevent uh, any damage to the blade after placing it inside over and over. If it's too tight it'll wear down eventually. Once you're happy that this seam is closed we can start trimming it. Don't go all the way down to the to the level foams otherwise you're just going to weaken the joint. Leave a little bit just want to take the majority of it off so we can sand it down. Once the seams got a good join and you've took off most of the top, we can also square up the top section that the blade slots into. Sometimes there's a little bit left over as you can see here. I'm just smoothing it out and taking it all around so I can do all the sanding on the join that I've just done and also on the top as needed. Some scabbards actually have a section at the top where part of the blade will slot into the actual scabbard section. That's what I'm doing here. Just at the top I'm creating two little slits of a V shape that will allow the diamond on the blade to fit perfectly into the top of the scabbard. Once the blade's back in, we now use a heat gun to heat up our foam. Once this is heated all over, now that our 5 mil template has been hold that shape before it all cools down. So using a heat gun, try not to heat up the sword or the latex and the paint will bubble off. So just give it a few gentle sweeps over with the heat gun and then we're going to let it cool. Apply the pressure where it's needed, just to keep the shape that you want as it cools. It should only take a few minutes, so it won't take long. Once we have removed the rough texture on the seam we, and sanded it down, we can then cover it in a 2mm skin. So, same process as we did with a 5mm, but only this time we're gluing it actually to the outside of the scabbard. Don't forget to give yourself a little bit extra just to work with. A little bit extra is better than not enough. Once you've cut the 2mm to size, we're going to cover the whole one side in glue and attach it to the scabbard as a wrap.
once you've initially lined up your scabbard and the foam, make sure the blade goes back in the scabbard as you wrap it with the two mil. Otherwise you will pull it too tight and you won't be able to get the sword in and out free. Try and put it on as smooth as you can, try not to get any wrinkles in it, or it will show up as we start to heat shrink it. Once you've finished wrapping with the 2mm, just try the blade in and out a few times to make sure it still moves freely. Once you're happy with the wrap as it is, you can start trimming off the excess. Don't trim too close to the actual seam. We need a little bit over so we can sand it smooth. Once they've trimmed the majority of the excess off the seam, we can start using a rotary tool or a belt sander just to take off the rest and make a nice, smooth, seamless join. As you can see, once the Dremel's finishing, you should have a nice, smooth, round, or seamless scabbard. Don't forget to go back in with a little bit of 240 grit, just to make sure you get a completely seamless joint. Now it's time for the comb. Here you can see me using a template that I got offline a long time ago. Uh, I've adapted it to this design and here I'm transferring that to 5mm foam which we will simply glue to the bottom of the scabbard. Once all the seams are glued down tight, you can then sand and smooth, trying to get that nice little smooth cone that you're after. When it becomes time to finishing off just the edges and the actual tip of the cone, you might find it easier to use a rotary tool that gives you that little bit more control. Don't forget to always go back in with a bit of 240 grit over any of the seams and such to make sure you've got a proper finish. Okay guys, so that's it. It gives you your basic scabbard build. Now, if you want to put any detail or anything on, that's entirely up to you. I have actually changed this uh, tip to suit the design I'm doing, as well as uh, I've started building up some of this detail work. Um, but the actual build part, this and the tip, is the same for any scabbard I do, uh, depending on the design. And make sure always that you have almost a frictionless entry into your scabbard. Remember, once the paper and the cling film's off, it'll give you maybe a mil or two mil, just to give you that little bit more freedom when you're going into the scabbard. So yeah, I hope that helps, guys. I hope uh, you had fun, and I, well, I hope you'll have fun building this. 
Uh, if you've got any questions or you want me to try and cover anything more detail, put a comment below and I'll get to you as soon as I can. Don't forget to hit the bell and subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, if you fancy, you can always pop over on Twitch uh, Wednesday to Friday. Uh, I normally stream 10 till about 5 uh, UK time. Uh, pop over and have a laugh with us. Okay, guys, so I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.